Yes, team. So why do we need shoulder mobility and why is it important to us? So very similar to the hips, we spend a lot of time in a fixed position. So we spend a lot of time sitting in a very protracted state. So our shoulders come forward. What it does, it tightens our chest and it's actually going to lengthen the back at the same time. So what we then do is we really limit our range of movement. We don't spend a lot of time going through these full ranges of flexion into extension and even circumduction where we come out and around. So there's a lot of movements our, our ball and socket joint can do at the shoulder, very similar to the hip. So with shoulder mobility, it's all about trying to maximize the range of movement we do have and to make sure we have the full range of movement. When we don't have the full range of movement, we can actually impact on the rest of our body by overcompensating in those areas. If we can't fully extend in certain positions, sometimes our back might start to bend, we might even start to push forward to be able to reach up into these positions, guys. So we end up causing potential harm into other areas and we don't feel quite as comfortable in our shoulders. So we wanna try and bring some movement back into the shoulders through this mobility series and you're gonna really find yourself improving your posture, improving mobility and also minimizing your risk of injury long-term, guys. And that's why we work on our shoulder mobility.